Hi guys, welcome to April favorites. This month has flown by. The last two months I feel like have really flown by. I have some new things that I wanna talk about and some of these things you probably saw in a previous get ready with me. So I will just start out with those. So this palette from Tarte, I had mentioned this in another get ready with me when I was trying out some new products when I first purchased this. So this is the Skin Twinkle. Basically it's like their little highlighting palette from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. And I really like this. I just feel like I'm grabbing for it a ton. I mean, you can see like the little brush marks in it, how much I've been using it. So basically this one is a great highlight. I really like it because it's not too shimmery and I've also been using it on my brow bone I mentioned. Um, I don't know if it's gonna pick up how. It's just really pretty, like a beautiful glow to it. And then this middle one is like so finely milled. I don't even know if you can see it on my finger there. That I've been setting my under eyes with. And then this one, oh my God, I mean, it just feels like butter. It is so pretty. Just a really pretty pink glow. I'd put them on the back of my hand, but I don't think you're gonna, oh yeah, I guess you can see it a little bit. Um, I've been using this as eyeshadow as well. Um, this I've used like all over the lid for just a really pretty shimmer with some, you know, that pinkish bronze kind of look. So I just can't stop reaching for this palette. I love the size. It's very travel friendly as well. Also would be the Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette. I love the size, the compact size of it is great. Um, I've gotten, I think, all of their palettes. Um, I've done a giveaway with all the others except for the Smoky because as soon as I saw this one, I knew I absolutely loved it. I just love the shades in here. To me, you can create so many pretty looks. There is a mix of matte and shimmer and kind of even some satiny shades too. I just find it makes the most simple eye look to the eye look I'm wearing today, which was uh, the one I filmed for the Get Ready With Me. I just feel like this is the one I'm just reaching for all the time now because I it has so many lighter shades here that you can create the most simple look to obviously a more dramatic look. The pigmentation is amazing on these. I mean, for instance, let me swatch this dark brown for you. So that's just one swipe on my finger. And there you go. I mean, that's not building it up a ton. So you can see the beautiful pigmentation. This is like a really pretty purpley blue. Actually, it looks like more of almost a navy when it's swatched. But I mean, just the pigmentation is amazing. This is the black. I mean, that's one swipe. Look how freaking pigmented that is. I mean, that's amazing. I seriously barely stuck my finger in it. So you cannot go wrong with this palette. Now, I absolutely love this and you cannot be the price point for Coastal Scents. Um, and if I didn't mention this, I mentioned it in that video, but I got this out of a uh, BoxyCharm box and you know, it just made the whole box when you see that you get an entire palette in there. Next would be the Benefit Cheekathon. I was so excited to see this because there are several colors in here I've never used before. And then of course, an old favorite. The packaging for me is a little bit bulky, but you do get quite a bit of product in each one. So I understand it needs to be bigger. Um, anyway, it comes with this protective sheet here and a mirror. I've not used the brush. I don't think I ever really use these for much. Now, I don't really love Rockateur, but I'm glad it's in there for when I wanna maybe use it once in a while. But I had never tried Hoola, um, Dandelion. I keep putting my finger in this one. I've done it I don't know how many times. And Dallas, Coralista is my all-time favorite blush. It's one of those just go-to when you just want a really fresh, pretty look on your cheeks. It goes with everything. What I've been doing is pairing these two together a lot, and that's what I have on my cheeks today. I've been loving Hoola, um, so I was really happy to try that out, and I love that everything is together in one box. So to me, you can't beat the value. I believe you can get this at Sephora and Ulta. Another thing that is new to me that I bought at the VIB sale, which I didn't do a haul because I really didn't buy that much. There was a few things that I wanted to try out, um, and then just kind of trying to, you know, get backups of things that I use a lot of. Um, but I didn't buy a lot, so I didn't figure it was worth a haul. But I tried for the first time something from Drunk Elephant. And I really love that they came in these small size. And I wasn't even looking specifically, I don't think, to get anything from Drunk Elephant at the time. I've been researching the brand 
I would love to try more things from the brand because everything sounds fantastic. But somehow I came across this little travel size of their cleansing bars and they are soap free, but there's the Peaky Bar and the Juju Bar. And I got both of them. I have them in my little soap dish here. I don't want to leave them in the shower. Um, so I put them in my little soap dish here beside my sink and I use this one. I use the Peaky Bar, which is the brown one here. It's a slight exfoliating bar. I use that in the morning. And then I've been using the Juju Bar in the evening. Now the Peaky Bar says clarify, balance, and moisturize. It has marula, blueberry extract, and honey. And then the Juju Bar says cleanse, exfoliate, heal. Okay, so I think I got these backwards. Um, this is the Juju Bar because I can feel it has the texture. So it says cleanse, exfoliate, heal. This is the Peaky Bar. Uh, clarify, balance, and moisturize. So I've been using this one in the morning, this one in the evening, the exfoliating one in the morning. The Peaky Bar, which is this one, the moisturizing one, has marula, blueberry extract, and honey. And then the Juju Bar has thermal mud, marula, super fruit and bamboo. Now I'll just read you off the back and like I said these are the little small size. They have larger size but I thought if I wanted to just try them I wanted to get the small size to see if I like them. So the Peaky Bar says a gentle multitasking bar that clarifies, balances, and moisturizes while rinsing away pore clogging surface debris, impurities, and excess oil. Infused with a powerful blend of blueberry extract, marula oil, and honey. The Peaky Bar tones and promotes moisture retention, elasticity, and firmness. So it says suggested use at the end of the day. And I have to say, it really, I cannot even hardly explain it until you use it, you'd understand what I'm talking about. I wouldn't say I have overly dry skin, um, but I do, I am getting a little drier as I get older. And even the Dove Soap, as much as I love it, sometimes my skin can feel a little bit dried out when I use that. Not always, and especially if I'm having skin issues like breakouts or something, I'll definitely use the Dove Bar. This, seriously, my skin feels clean after I use it at night. And it does lather up, even though um, it's soap-free, fragrance and soap-free, um, but it does feel moisturized. It's really, really strange. I've never felt that from any other bar type product um, that it feels very balanced and very moisturized. It is a fantastic feeling. I really look forward to using this at night. So it's cleansing your skin without stripping it in a bar form, which sometimes I just find that easier. I've really enjoyed it. As for the Juju Bar, it says an ultra mild three in one bar that deeply cleanses subtly exfoliates and heals. Our one-of-a-kind formulation of marula oil, thermal mud, bamboo powder, and superfruit delivers a wonderful creamy lather that dissolves unwanted oil, whisking away pore clogging surface debris and any dead skin cells. Suggested use is in the morning. So that's what I've been doing. I'm telling you, I really think I can see a difference in my skin. Lately, I've been having just some clogged pores, my issue always on my chin, um, and I seriously feel like my skin is looking a little more balanced, a little more even. I usually don't have a problem with like blackheads or clogged pores or anything else because I use glycolic, but just around my chin area and in general, I feel like my skin is looking a little fresher. Um, just, I don't know, I can tell a difference. So I'm highly impressed with this. Grab this little size if you wanted to try out both of them. Again, love the feeling of both of them. It's great to get that little bit of exfoliation from this one in the morning because if you're like me and use some retinal products at night, I always have the flakiness on my forehead. That's the only place and it's nice to get rid of that in the morning. Anyway, I feel like I could go on and on about that. I'm really looking forward to trying some other Drunk Elephant skincare. I would love to try a lot more from their line. I'm trying to use up a few more products like I have a retinol product and I have a vitamin C product that I'm not quite ready to repurchase anything else yet, but those are definitely two things from the line I would like to try. Okay, last thing, a favorite TV show. So we finished up watching the following like a month ago or several weeks ago um, with Kevin Bacon. I had mentioned before that we really liked that. Well, there were only three seasons. It got a little weird and sometimes, you know, I mean, they're pretty stabby in that thing. I mean, they, they, it's just crazy. But you almost, it almost becomes like just stupid so you get used to it. But I don't like a lot of violence in some things. Some things it doesn't bother me in, some things it does. It just really depends on the context, I feel. 
So we finished the following, was sad to see it end, but wanted something new to watch. And so we looked online, you know, like if you liked Dexter and the following and blah, 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 um, you might like The Killing. I'd never even heard of The Killing at all. There's, I think, three, no, f at least four seasons, maybe more of that. So we just started season two. I have to say, season one, first several episodes in, kind of starts out slow, but that's just the way the show moves. You know, it's very like trying to build the drama and the suspense, so it's a little slow moving. But once you get into it, you're trying to find out, okay, who did this, you know? And it's it's almost like a good murder mystery in a book. The author's always like um, pointing you in different directions, making you think so-and-so is a suspect. Well, that's what this show does. So, you know, by the time season one was ending, we were like totally hooked, like, oh my gosh, you know, who is it and what's gonna happen? So again, we just started season two. I think we're in about like the third episode or so. So really enjoying that. If you guys are looking for something new. We tried to go back and watch House of Cards. Um, we had watched probably half of the first season, I don't know, a long time ago. I don't know if it just got boring and for several reasons we just quit watching it. Well, so we tried to give it another chance and go back. The last episode we watched was so boring. It was like, oh my gosh, now maybe we know why we gave it up. I don't know. I mean, it seemed like it started out good and then it faded. And so we tried it again. It's a no-go. And then I just have a product fail to mention. And it could just be the color, but I do want to mention I tried this. This is the new um, Sally Hansen. This is the One Step Wonder Gel. I wanted to try this out because their regular polishes in this kind of bottle last so long. I had posted something on on Instagram a shade and somebody had asked me how long it lasts. I mean it lasted probably at least a week and by then I just took it off because I was getting a lot of wear. Um, anyway I tried this one. This is pale in comparison and of course you know it looked like it would be a milky white pink what I'm always drawn to and a lot of polishes that's kind of the one I'll try um, first. It was like a big thick mess, didn't go on very well in um, the coats I applied. Again it may be the color because I took it off. I didn't even like it because look at this. It looks straight up white. That does not look like a milky pink to me. Like, you know, the pale, real pretty pinks that you guys know I like. I've shown a lot of them. This looks like white. It looked like white out on my nails. That's not what I was going for. Um, they're a little bit limited in the shades they do have this, so I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up another one to try. But if you guys have tried any of these, let me know your experience if it's worth me picking up another one to try. But did not like this one um, in this color at all. And that is it for my April favorites. Let me know what you guys are loving in the comments below. I would love to hear, especially if there's anything new you think I would like and I need to try out. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.